Ah, oh, tēnā koutou katoa, ngā mihi nui ki a koutou um, i tēnei wā. Ko hemi tuku ingwa. Um, I thought this would be a great time during this la- lockdown, cousins, to record some of the stories I heard on my tiki tours um, while interviewing um, uh, ngā koutou, koumātua o Ngāti Haua, the koumātuas of Ngāti Haua. Um, specifically, um, thanking um, Fred, uh, Fred or Te Mapi Haimuana, ngā mihi nui ki a, ki a kui a Te Mapi, um, for the mātauranga, the knowledge of these stories of Ngāti Haua. And today our first story is going to be about the establishment of Ngāti Haua um, to, this, to this rohi, to this area. But first of all, um, I need to say a tau parapara o karakia to bless these stories. Now this karakia tau parapara is about Tāne. Um, now Tāne Mahuta, as we know, he was um, the eldest um, of the, the eldest son that pushed um, Ranginui and Papatunuku apart. So there was light, there was understanding, there was life on earth as we know it. And this um, tau parapara is about his difficult journey, his dogged determination, his tenacity to fetch um, Ngā Kite o Te Wānanga, the baskets of knowledge um, from the heavens for us. Um, in humankind, even though his brothers, one of them, um, whether Tangaro or whether Tafiri Mate Tumo Tawinga, didn't want him to do it. So even that, that he pushed and he had a goal and a vision, and he grabbed them and brought them back down as we know it. So this is the um, the karakia. Now I will um, give you a bit of a heads up during these stories. Um, I will be referring to my notes. You'll see my eyes go up and down just to make sure these stories are true and accurate um, through Ngati Hoa. So cheer, cousins, cheer for Nonga. Um, hopefully you've been well. I've been well. I've been doing a lot of uh, cooking, fry, bread, pudding. He's down so kilda kilda. Um, he tino reka te kai. <coughs> so anyway, ten nei yo, ten nei yo te hokai nei te taki tapu ai. Koto ho, kote hokai nuku, kote hokai rangi, kite ho, hokai o to tu puna. Atane nui arangi i piki te ai. Kite rangi tu ha ha katihi i manono i ruko i ruko hina atu ra. Ko i o matu a kore anaki i riro i ho ai. Ngā kite o te wānanga. Ko te kiti tuauri, ko te kiti tuatia, ko te kiti aronui Ka tiri tiri a, ka pau pau a, ki a papa tūnuku Ka puta tira tangata ki te whai a, ki te ao marama Ti hei, mauri ora Kia ora whanu So the establishment of Ngati Haua, there was a person called Haua Haua was a man He climbed to the top of Maungakaua with his brother Hape And his sister Rudu So Rudu Ruru was like a warrior goddess. So they climbed to the top of this land. <clears throat> uh, uh, they, sorry, they climbed to the top of a maunga called Maungakawa. Now, Maungakawa was the paramount maunga to Ngati Haua. So they climbed to the top of that, and they looked over to the east, over to the Hauraki Plains, and he, he goes, oh, I like this land. I want this land. But at that time, they had some very, very um, conflictual warfare tribes. They had Waikato. And they had Rokawa. Now, Rokawa, as we know it, is in Matamata and, and also stretches all the way to Otaki and Levin because they ended up leaving um, to support the, um, Te Raupraha. Um, so th- that's the reason Rokawa. But Waikato wasn't Waikato Tainu, it was just a Waikato. So they were the, so the big tribes of these areas, so they had to fight these off. So, so Haua climbed to the top of Maungakawa, looked over the Matamata Piako, which was like a big swamp um, and a big sort of river. Um, knowing the Tafito name or Ingwa Tafito, um, the real name was Te Aua Waikato, the path of the Waikato River. So the Waikato River used to go through Hinuera, through Matamata, and out to the Hauraki Gulf. So Te, o, te Aua Waikato. Anyway, so um, I will be referring to my notes so, um, during this time. So he likes this land. He, his dream is he wants this land, but he's going to need help because he's only sort of one person. He's got Hapi and then he's got Rudu. So with that help, um, he hopefully over time will get that land. So anyway, we'll get into it. So um, <clears throat> it wasn't easy. The tribes were very resistant to the intruders of this land. So they knew about them um, because at this time you also had Te Aroa and Rotorua coming through that time all the time. And, and they will feature through these stories all the time. So so eventually with Rudu, the renowned warrior, they, so they managed to acquire these lands. They, they now have these lands in Ngati Haua as we know it. And they stretch from Waharoa to just before Hautapu and then into Morinsville. So that's all Ngati Haua's area. So how this um, place is represented today is if you look on the top of the Te Metal Hill, there is a red and white statue, uh, no, no, a telephone pole. Um, and that is known as Ruru in the Māori way. At night, if um, if you look out towards Te Middle, then there's a red flashing light, and that is Ruru. That mount, if we're looking at in Morinsville at at um, Aotearoa, and we look at 
um, that red flashing light or during the day we see that telephone pole if we go to the left that maunga there is maunga kawa okay so if you're at karupiro in cambridge going through lake karupiro and there's like a you'll see like um <clears throat> there's a bit of maunga kawa is that the main mountain if you look back towards moranzo and there's there's like this metal metal um antenna up there too and that's maunga kawa and you can also drive up there so anyway so um so yeah so that is maunga kawa so Rudu was the sister of Ngati Hoa, and they called on the son of Rudu, Wainganui. Now Wainganui um, is noted today as the, the meeting house or the big house at the Marae um, Waimakariri, which is just before Hautapu, before Cambridge. So, so Wainganui was involved there too. Together with all their forces, they conquered this land of, of the Matamata Piako. Now, and specifically in the Matamata Piako, there were two main tribes. There was Ngati Henirangi, and there was Ngati, and, well not Ngati, but there was the tribe Tafaki. So Ngati Henirangi and Tafaki were the two tribes of this area that were always battling and they controlled this land. So Hape, Hoa, Rudu and Wainganui, they had to control that land. Now, during the this battle, Hoa had a son called Wede Wede. Now, a lot of people will know Wede Wede as the big house. At, or the meeting house at Rukumwana. So that was Wede Wede. So Wede Wede was killed during these battles. So the, the land of the area of the Matamata Piako of those days was called Te Aua Waikato. So remember that was the Ingoa Tafito. So, so yeah, so we had Te Aua Waikato, that was the land, the swamp. Um, so Morrinsville wasn't it didn't exist as we know it in those times because it would have been in the middle of this um the swamp. It was nearly impossible to get to that space. Okay, you need a pretty good um a pretty good walker to get to those um those words. So, the name um as we know Mori Nafida. I did ask um Timapi on my um my tiki tours at Tefanu. And <clears throat> about 1907, um Mori Nafida was created. So Mori Nafida. Now obviously that was a a, a, a transli a transliter literative word um from uh, from the Maori of those time. Obviously there was a lot of English and Irish and Scottish influence in that, but those stories will come later with Thomas Moran and the establishment of, of Morinsville as we know it. So Maori and Afida is a translit a translit word. Okay, so it's sort of how it sounds in English and Maori combined. So anyway so they so the battles that took place were very ferocious. Um, Hoa and Rudu and Hapi they wanted this land for them. Okay, so um, Wainganui um, so was was the son of Rudu or the nephew of of Hoa, and that's reflected in um, the big house at Waimak that we went on to. So after these battles, and there was a lot of battling here. Um, there was a peace that was sown after the killing of Wede Wede, so the battles didn't go on. So between um, um, ta, um, Tawhaki and um, um, Ngati Hinirangi, a peace was sown and Te Aua Waikato was given to Hoa and Hapi and Rudu um, so as a peace offering. So that was the establishment of Ngati Hoa. So I was after a lot of battles, Wede Wede got killed and here you go, you can have this land as a peace offering because we don't want to fight all the time. So this was, um, and then over a hundred years later, after that peace offering was given, um, it later became obviously more a feeder. So there's sort of two stories there. It, it, um, and, you know, um, I said 1907 before, um, that's when more people came into that space of more a feeder. Um, but it was actually um, also a lot, a lot earlier than that land was given um, as, as, as more a feeder. But then obviously in 1907, given the name officially around more a feeder, as told by stories. So after these battles, so if we think 1500s, 300 years later, so 1800s, that's when settlers come to New Zealand. So this happened quite a long time before the English arrivals. Okay, so, <clears throat> so in the 200 years before New Zealand uh, settlers or the British came to our shores. It was times of war. It was times of conquering. Um, the stronger iwi would win the land they would dominate. So, so at that time, um, as we've talked about, Hoa, you've got Waikato and Rokawa. 
and you've got Tiaroa Herotaru that was previously mentioned. They were the they were the big tribes of the area. So if they marched in and just wanted land, they would take it. So the as I talked about the the Tiaroa tribes, so the tribes from like the gondolas would come over the hills, and they'd come into the Kaimai and Mamaku. Now there was a pa at Maunga Kawa where Te Waharoa, which will be the next story where he grew up, was called the the um the the Kawaiti Pa. So they would come over Tiaroa and they would attack. They would attack um, the tribe of um, of Ngati Hoa as we knew it. So yeah, so that was the establishment of Ngati Hoa. Um, so Ngamihi Nui Kia Koto more more fakarongo um, for listening um, to the story. Um, hoia no. Um, we will do a karakia to close um, this first story of the establishment of Hoa. So, um, kia tau ngā manakitanga ki runga i tēnā i tēnā o tātou, kia piki te ora, kia piki te maramatanga, kia hoki pai atu, kia hoki pai mai, tūturu whakamau wā, kia tēnā, tēnā haue, huie, tāiki. So, um, kia ora kazi, it's great to see you, hopefully I'll see you back at Kura um, in the next wee while. So, um... Um, ka kite, ka kite anō, he mā te wā, he heikona. Kia ora whānei.